Hi there, welcome again to my channel. Today our topic is about English 10 Milk Based Quarter 1 Module 4 entitled Comparing and Contrasting the Contents of the Materials Viewed. And uh, the reason I uploaded this video is to help grade 10 students understand the lessons and be able to provide answers for the items that are not found in the Kita Correction. By the way, Ang isinama kong uh, mga part lamang dito sa module ay yung mga part lang na walang answer sa K to correction. Alright? Be ready with your module and be prepared also with your ballpen and paper. But for that, kung bago ka pa lang sa channel na to, please don't forget to like, subscribe, also click the notification bell para palagi kang updated sa aking mga bagong video and of course, please share also. Now let us proceed. Compare and contrast defined. Compare is taken from the Latin word comparare, which means to liken or to compare. Comparing means uh, things means pointing out their similarities. Pag sinabi natin comparing, ay ang ipinapahawating nito ay yung mga pagkakapareho, similarities, or what they have in common. Ibig sabihin, may kapariho silang mga bagay sa isa't isa. While contrast is derived from the Latin word contra and stare, which means against and to stand. In Middle English, contrast was used for meaning to fight against or to withstand in a battle. Again, when we say contrast, it means it is against or opposed to something that is, in English, uh, uh, subject, it means you are giving the differences once you use the word contrast. Now, contrasting things means pointing out their differences or where they diverge from one another. San ba sila nagkakaiba? Kailangan matukoy kung ano ang pagkakaiba ng dalawang bagay na uh, inihahambing. Alright? Now, what is it? Comparing and contrasting are ways of looking at objects and thinking about how they are alike and different. When we say comparing and contrasting, dito, dito ay uh, kailang malaman ano yung pagkakapariho ano, at ano yung pagkakaiba. Now, comparing things means pointing out their similarities. Ang sabi nito sa comparing, dito binibigay kung ano yung pagkakapariho or what they have in common. While contrasting things means pointing out their differences. Sinasabi nito kung ano yung pagkakaiba or where they diverge from one another. Alin bang mga bagay ang hindi sila magkapariho? Okay. Now, be ready with your ball pen. This is one of the parts that have no answer in the Kito Correction in your module. Activity 1.2 Let us summarize our lesson by filling in the blanks with the appropriate word or phrase that correctly fits in each of the sentences about compare and contrast. Number one, blank are ways of looking at objects and thinking about how they are alike and different. What is the answer? Okay, the answer is comparison and contrast. Number two, blank means pointing out their similarities or what they have in common. What's the answer? The answer is comparison. Okay, number three. Blank means pointing out their differences or where they diverge from one another. Answer, contrast. And number four. Blank and blank are two main reasons that people use comparison and contrast. The answer is similarities and differences. Number five. Blank are... Uh, it's a graphic organizer that is made up of two or three overlapping circles, which is used to visualize the relationship between two or three sets. The answer is Venn diagram. Okay, next, activity 1.3. Write a five-sentence paragraph explaining the differences and similarities of your favorite subjects in the answer sheet for five points. Now, you are supposed to write your own paragraph, Explaining the similarities and differences between the subjects that uh, you have. 
All right. Uh, I'm going to provide you here with an example answer. You can revise this or you can just write your own answer based from this uh, pattern. Okay. English is like math because both subjects use English as medium of instruction. This is sentence number one. However, English is more complicated because the answer in a certain question varies depending on a situation. Sentence number three. But in math, there is always only one exact answer in a certain question. Sentence number four. English is sometimes boring, but math is always exciting. And sentence number five. Math, like subject, uh, like English subject, is important in everyday life. Now, now notice here, we have here words that indi indicate comparison and contrast. Like the word like. Also, however, another one is but. But again, and like. Okay. I hope you were able to copy this down. Now, if you are, were not able to copy... Then just uh, post the video and then write down the answer here. Okay, activity 2.2. To know whether you were able to remember our topic, please fill in the missing words. Blank is taken from the Latin word compare, which means to liken or to compare. Answer is comparare. Comparing things means pointing out their similarities or what they have in common. Number three. Contrast was derived from the Latin words contra and stare, which means against and to stand. Okay. Next, activity 2.3. Directions. Use a Venn diagram to find the similarities and differences between an airplane and a bus. All answers must be written in your answer sheet. All right. I have here prepared an example answer. You, you can revise this or you can... Uh, have your own idea, but uh, this is my uh, suggestion. For airplane, differences. It has a pilot. For bus, it has a driver. Similarities, both have wheels. Pareho silang may gulong. Of course, uh, here in uh, airplane, the difference is that airplane is operated by a pilot, while in bus, it is operated by a driver. Okay, but both have wheels. Okay, number two. In airplane, the person who is taking care of the passengers is called a stewardess or steward. But for the, for the bus, the person who is responsible for the passengers is called a conductor or conductress. And for the similarities, both have propeller. Pareho silang may LC. Okay, number three, for airplane, the difference is that the airplane travel by air, while bus travel by land. And uh, both airplane and bus uses seat belt. They have a seat belt. This is supposed to be seat belt. I'm sorry, this is only a typographical error, but this is actually seat belt. Okay. Now, for airplane, it can stop anytime. Of course, if you want to stop, as long as it is, it is uh, allowed or legal, the driver can stop anytime. But in airplane, it cannot stop any, any, anywhere or anytime. It can stop only in a certain uh, destination or airport. All right, if you have learned this video, I hope you have learned something and uh, stay tuned for my more videos. Thank you very much for watching. See you again.